Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today it's getting so absurd how the tabloid media has been trying so hard to make the Sussexes look bad for the trip to Colombia. And as we remember, James O'Brien tried so hard showing how the tabloid media has been portraying double standards against the Sussexes and it is surely coming to light as we see. So before we go on, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Now, the tabloid media's relentless assault on the Sussexes, the tabloid media's unrelenting attacks on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have reached a new level of absurdity in their coverage of the couple's upcoming visit to Colombia. Rather than focusing on the positive impact the Sussexes can have by highlighting the country's progress and culture, the media has resorted to fear-mongering and blatant misinformation. Prominent royal expert James O'Brien has repeatedly called out this double standard, noting that the Sussexes are not the first members of the royal family to visit Colombia and that the country is no more dangerous than any other destination. O'Brien has emphasised that the tabloid's constant need to undermine and disparage the Sussexes is rooted in a larger pattern of bias and misrepresentation rather than any genuine concerns for the couple's safety. By perpetuating these false narratives, the media continues to demonstrate its disregard for facts and its unwavering determination to cast the Sussexes in the worst possible light, regardless of the truth. The tabloid media's distorted narrative on the Sussexes. The tabloid media has a long history of misrepresenting the Sussexes' decisions and actions, often painting them in a negative light. Royal expert James O'Brien has consistently called out this double standard, highlighting how the media applies a vastly different set of rules when it comes to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. In the context of their upcoming tour to Colombia, the tabloids have once again resorted to fear-mongering, labelling the country as dangerous and questioning why the Sussexes would choose to visit such a crime-ridden place. However, this narrow-minded portrayal fails to acknowledge that the Sussexes are not the first members of the royal family to visit Colombia and that the government has assured their full security detail during the trip. O'Brien's incisive commentary on the media's hypocrisy and double standards has been crucial in highlighting the underlying biases that continue to shape the public narrative around the Sussexes. Even in the face of their positive endeavours to use their platform to bring international attention to important causes. The Sussexes aren't the first royals to visit Colombia. The tabloid media's portrayal of Colombia as a dangerous country is nothing new when it comes to the coverage of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. In reality, other members of the British royal family have visited Colombia without the same level of criticism or fear-mongering. For instance, Prince Charles and Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, traveled to Colombia in 2014, where they were warmly welcomed and celebrated the country's rich cultural heritage. The media's tendency to label certain nations as inherently unsafe simply because they do not align with the UK's geopolitical interests reveals a deep-seated bias and a disregard for nuance. Respected royal expert James O'Brien has repeatedly called out this double standard, emphasising that the tabloid press often misrepresents the Sussexes' decisions and actions painting them in an unduly negative light by acknowledging the fact that the Sussexes are not the first royals to visit Colombia, we can move beyond the sensationalism and recognize the value in expanding diplomatic and cultural ties regardless of unfounded media scaremongering. Renowned British radio host and journalist James O'Brien has been a steadfast defender of Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, consistently calling out the tabloid media's double standards and misrepresentation of the couple's decisions and actions. In the context of the Sussexes' upcoming visit to Colombia, O'Brien has astutely pointed out the media's hypocrisy in branding the country as dangerous, while failing to acknowledge that other members of the royal family have visited the South American nation without incident. O'Brien has eloquently dissected the media's fear-mongering tactics, highlighting how they often paint Colombia in an overly negative light, much like they did with Nigeria during the Sussexes' previous tour. The radio host has emphasized that the Sussexes are granted high-level government security when visiting these countries, just as any prominent VIP would receive, a fact that the British press seems determined to ignore. Through his insightful analysis, O'Brien has consistently challenged the double standards applied to the Duke and Duchess, underscoring the media's apparent reluctance to afford them the same level of security and protection that other royals have enjoyed when travelling abroad. 
His unwavering support for the Sussexes serves as a powerful counterpoint to the tabloid's biased and often inflammatory coverage, providing a much-needed voice of reason and factual reporting in the ongoing saga surrounding the couple's relationship with the British media. The tabloid media's coverage of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's decision to visit Colombia has been nothing short of a hate-fueled frenzy. Rather than objectively reporting the facts, these outlets have resorted to fear-mongering and blatant misinformation, painting the South American country as a dangerous and crime-ridden place unfit for the royal couple. However, as seasoned royal expert James O'Brien has pointed out, this alarmist rhetoric is par for the course when it comes to the Sussexes. O'Brien has eloquently highlighted the double standards at play, noting that the same media outlets that lauded other royals for visiting Colombia in the past are now quick to condemn Harry and Meghan's upcoming trip. This hypocrisy underscores the tabloid's clear agenda to cast the Sussexes in the most negative light possible regardless of the facts. By spreading unfounded rumours and exaggerating the risks, these publications are actively shaping public perception, manipulating their readers into believing that the couple's actions are reckless and irresponsible. The Sussexes have continuously sought to address the media's persistent bias and misleading narratives surrounding their actions and decisions. As royal expert James O'Brien has made clear, the tabloid media often grossly misrepresents the Sussexes, painting them in an unfairly negative light. For instance, the media's characterization of Colombia as a dangerous country the Sussexes are foolishly visiting is a prime example of this distortion. In reality, the Sussexes are not the first members of the royal family to visit Colombia. Princess Diana and Prince Charles previously traveled there in the 1990s. O'Brien has repeatedly highlighted the double standards applied to the Sussexes, noting how other royals receive overwhelmingly positive coverage for similar decisions. The Sussexes' commitment to using their platform to shine a light on important global issues, like the work being done in Colombia, appears to be dismissed in favour of sensationalist and biased reporting. Through their measured responses, the Sussexes continue to demonstrate their unwavering determination to address the underlying issues of hate and misinformation perpetuated by certain media outlets. Their principled stance underscores their belief in the power of truth and constructive dialogue to counter the narrative of division and negativity perpetuated by the tabloid press. The media's selective outrage, exposing the hypocrisy. The tabloid media's treatment of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex reveals an alarming double standard. As royal expert James O'Brien has astutely observed, the same media outlets that lavish praise on other royals for their foreign travels are quick to cast aspersions on the Sussex's decisions. When Prince William and Kate Middleton visited Pakistan, the media coverage was overwhelmingly positive, focusing on the cultural exchange and diplomatic benefits of the trip. Yet, the moment Harry and Meghan announced plans to visit Colombia, the same outlets immediately resorted to fear-mongering, labelling the country as dangerous and questioning the couple's judgement. This selective outrage highlights the media's underlying biases and their unwillingness to afford the Sussexes the same level of respect and nuance afforded to other members of the royal family. As O'Brien has pointed out, the real issue seems to be not the destinations themselves but the fact that Harry and Meghan are the ones choosing to visit them, often in pursuit of humanitarian and philanthropic endeavours that challenge the status quo. The resilience of the Sussexes in the face of tabloid attacks. The relentless onslaught of negative press from the British tabloid media has been a constant thorn in the side of Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. Despite the hateful portrayal of the couple as reckless and undeserving of security, the Sussexes have demonstrated remarkable resilience in the face of this adversity. Rather than being cowed by the media's attempts to discredit them, Harry and Meghan have continued to pursue their charitable work and personal passions, using their platform to shine a light on important causes. As royal expert James O'Brien has astutely observed, the tabloid's tendency to misrepresent the Sussexes' decisions and actions is a clear indication of their underlying bias. The decision to visit Colombia, for example, has been painted as a reckless move by the media, 
despite the fact that the country has hosted many members of the royal family in the past. This double standard, where the Sussexes are held to a different standard than their counterparts, further underscores the media's relentless campaign to undermine the couple. Nonetheless, Harry and Meghan's resilience and determination to make a positive impact on the world continue to inspire their supporters, who see through the tabloid's sensationalised rhetoric and recognise the true strength and integrity of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. The importance of factual reporting, journalists like James O'Brien have played a vital role in providing accurate and responsible coverage of the royal family, particularly when it comes to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. In contrast, the tabloid media has often been at the forefront of spreading hateful and misleading narratives about the Sussexes, as evidenced by their reaction to Harry and Meghan's upcoming tour of Colombia. Rather than factually reporting on the visit, the tabloids have resorted to scaremongering, labelling the country as dangerous and questioning why the Sussexes would choose to travel there. However, as O'Brien has repeatedly pointed out, the Sussexes are not the first members of the royal family to visit Colombia, nor is the country the crime-ridden den of thieves and murderers that the media would have the public believe. By highlighting the double standards, and the lack of nuance in the tabloid coverage, O'Brien has consistently demonstrated his support for the Sussexes and the importance of fact-based reporting, even when it goes against the prevailing narrative pushed by the sensationalist media. Challenging the tabloid media's narrative The tabloid media's relentless attacks on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have reached a new low with their sensationalised coverage of the couple's upcoming tour to Colombia. Rather than objectively reporting on the visit, these outlets have resorted to fear-mongering and blatant misrepresentation, labelling Colombia as a dangerous country and questioning why Harry and Meghan would choose to travel there. However, as royal expert James O'Brien has rightly pointed out, this is merely the latest example of the tabloid media's double standards when it comes to the Sussexes. O'Brien has been a vocal advocate for the couple, Consistently calling out the media's biased and unethical reporting, he has emphasised that the Sussexes are not the first members of the royal family to visit Colombia, and that the country's government has extended a warm invitation and pledged to provide the necessary security for their stay. Yet, the tabloids continue to paint a distorted picture, fueling unfounded fears and casting doubt on the Sussexes' decision to accept this invitation. This pattern of vilifying the Sussexes while turning a blind eye to the actions of other royals highlights the media's blatant disregard for fairness and accuracy. As O'Brien has eloquently argued, the tabloid's relentless attacks on Harry and Meghan are not rooted in journalistic integrity, but in a deep-seated hostility towards the couple. It is time for the public to demand a more balanced and ethical approach to reporting on the Sussexes, one that focuses on the facts rather than sensationalised narratives. And with that, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. It has been Dave on the commentary and I am out. Adios.